Fear of the kissing bug, also known as the cone nose bug, is back in Wichita County. Yeah, and for the first time, there could be real reason to worry about it after a test returned positive for the parasite that transmits that dangerous Chagas disease. Shatanya Clark joins us now with more. Apparently, there are 11 species of the kissing bug, but only one carries the parasites. And now it has been confirmed the parasite is in Wichita County. I would just like to mention that kissing bugs are not new to this area. A lot of times the, it's like, oh, they're suddenly here. Um, we've, we've had them around here for a very long time. What's new this time around is this is the first case um, where we've had a bug test positive in Wichita County. Um, for the presence of Chagas disease. It is for this reason experts are educating everyone on what the insects look like and what attracts them. Uh, the kissing bug, uh, it's a, a blood feeding insect, uh, so they're only feeding on blood. Uh, so what they usually do is they'll come in, they're simply like, literally like mosquitoes, they're looking for anything that's breathing carbon dioxide out and has heat signatures, sweat, things like that. Uh, they feed on pets a lot, and also humans. The kissing bugs are a subfamily of the assassin bugs, but not all assassin bugs raise a medical concern. They could bite you and transmit disease, um, but the disease that it causes, Chagas, is actually caused by a parasite that's found in their feces. And uh, so we always uh, recommend that if you find them on a surface that you go ahead and sanitize that surface. David Shoup of Shoup's Termites and Pest Control recommends using repellents that are high in DEET that will help to keep the bugs away. DEET will repel them to an extent. Uh, it, again, it's mainly at night, so if the higher the concentration in DEET, the longer it's going to last. Since these bugs tend to be around at night, and most people do not use repellent before bed, health officials say you should take other precautions, such as keeping windows and doors closed as much as possible, and making sure there are no holes in screens. And if you see a bug that looks like a kissing bug, do not touch it with your bare hands. Now, these bugs are known to bite around the lips and eyes, hence the name kissing bugs, and almost always strike at night. You can find more information and advice on what to do if you find a suspected kissing bug with this story on Texoma's homepage.com. Good information there. Okay, Shatanya, thank you very much.